Hello, I'm Mike Platt, Technical Services Engineer for Coracote Limited. This is one of a series of technical videos we are producing to inform our customers and colleagues about various technical aspects of protective coatings and linings. In this video, we will be demonstrating some of the principles that are necessary for successful spray application. Sometimes application technique is overlooked. This can lead to a series of issues that if not actioned may have a detrimental effect on the coating's performance and service life. Often in the industrial applications of paints and coatings, the spray applicator may overlook certain techniques required to ensure a successful application is achieved. The failure to observe and implement these requirements may result in certain anomalies, such as low film thickness, inhomogeneous application and quite possibly sags or runs. Applicators often spray coatings with a horizontal pass first. This defines a dry edge at the bottom of the spray pattern to which gravity will drag the liquid film causing an over thickness at that point, propagating sags and runs. To avoid this it is essential that vertical passes of the spray gun are used first, followed by horizontal passes. This avoids a defined edge and increases stability of the coating at high film thicknesses. This technique also aids in the uniform thickness of the applied film across a large area. This demonstration shows the application of two panels, one with horizontal and one vertical application. Paint or coating application must be started with vertical passes wherever possible moving from right to left across the surface with minimal overlap. The spray gun is then turned 90 degrees and sprayed horizontally. The first pass was sprayed with the gun held 12 to 18 inches from the substrate. This forces the product into the profile, maximizing mechanical adhesion and encourages good surface wetting characteristics. Once the applicator has achieved good surface wetting, the distance of the spray gun to the surface is extended to approximately 24 to 36 inches. This avoids exaggerating orange peel and gives more even coverage. Failure to extend the distance of the spray gun from the surface will cause the material to be blown around on the substrate, but too great a distance may result in dry, inhomogeneous surface. The component to be coated and skill of the applicator along with the coating material type will determine the actual distance from the surface. Another critical aspect of spraying technique is the correct approach to spraying corners and edges. Coracote Polyglass Zip Coat can be applied directly to the prepared surface in one application. It has been specifically formulated and tested to ensure that not only is excellent corrosion protection attained, but through correct application techniques, excellent edge coverage is achieved. Although the product has these characteristics, it does require correct application and correct job preparation, such as machining or grinding, to create an edge radius before abrasive blast cleaning. When coating or painting a corner or edge, particularly one with a small radius, the natural phenomenon of the paint is to retract due to surface tension. This can be exacerbated by wrong application technique. If the applicator simply sprays each face and does not treat the corner, this edge is not protected. Corrosion will take place more rapidly on a corner than on a flat surface. In order to achieve good edge coverage, the applicator must spray directly at the corner and then coat each face with the spray gun perpendicular to the surface. This will result in an accumulation of material at the edge thus offering excellent coverage. This in turn will offer corrosion protection of this vulnerable area. Alternatively, to give extra protection, the actual corner should be stripe coated with a spray gun to ensure full coverage. Correct spray application technique on edges and corners is absolutely essential for longevity. Paints and coatings must be atomized satisfactorily to facilitate homogeneous and uniform coverage. When atomization is not correct, the material's ability to coalesce will be compromised and the coating may have a textured finish, 
similar to that of orange peel. This effect may have a bearing on the coating performance in its intended service. The techniques we've discussed and demonstrated here are essential to achieve excellent corrosion protection and long-term coating performance. Thank you for your interest and watching this video. Thank you.